Hello, welcome back to the Tales of War and the War Tales. Now we're still in Dromba County, we're going to finish all of this at some point. The problem is, some of the quests don't make sense, and now we're in the ruins. I only played about 20 minutes, I only did one battle, cleared one side of the dungeon, and then I also saw this. You remember these puzzles? Oh yes, they are horrible puzzles. The way you have to do them is kind of guess what is the correct pathway to the chest or around the chest. So I'm not sure how you're supposed to figure it out except trial and error and reloads. Oh no, we got an injury. From what I can figure out, you're supposed to go around the chest until it low it's lower. Is that said and done, right? Because it doesn't follow a certain rule and you know me, I am very good at lock picking because I had a lot of time to practice, but this is a, an event that only happens twice, as far as I know. One in a dungeon and one in this other dungeon. One here and the other one another place. So I cannot practice it, so I cannot find the logic, and I'm tired of just reading on the internet about stuff like this. I want to learn more. But oh, that's not going to work. I guess it's one. It should be one of those. Don't tell me it's this one. It's probably this one. No, it's not that one. This is bugged. You, you should have gotten the treasure by this point. Wow, that's that's something else. How can you solve it if you don't even have a clue or something? At least that, that's how I understand it. You're supposed to guess. You start from the sword and then you're supposed to guess which ones will be next. And they'll be closer and closer to the chest until you surround it a little bit and then it will be yours. You're not supposed to lower all of them, that's for sure. Hmm, still it's a very weird mechanic to implement at a time like this. This is the full release of the game and they still haven't released any explanations or hints for you in-game. One of the rare activities you will do And this is it, this is all we're going to get injury after injury and I just don't care anymore. That's why I have 20 healing potions with me. You got the valuable box which is basically just a box at this point. I'll show you how to get the other stuff, it's not so hard. The skeleton has one codex and on the other side of the map you can find the uh, other codex on the shelves. In the name of Jeru and the god. What was that about? You wouldn't understand even if I told. What was that opposition trying to protect? That's what it said. The pony has got all of the damage. This inquisitor. I gave him a remedy. Vivian was consumed. Do not open this door. Did the prince send you? You've shown up at a good time. Our objective is on the other side of this door. It's a miracle we followed you. If you hadn't been snooping around... So it is a relic you're looking for. Do not open this door! Do not let it out! Maybe, maybe we'll let it out. I'm not sure what it is. I tried to fight that creature a few times, but when 
it's just so much RNG and so much planning. It's like you're playing chess alone with different rules and you have to respect the rules of the game, not the rules of the general combat you have played so far. I mean, I wish the rules you used until this point to fight or in combat would have applied to this fight as well, but they don't really apply, you'll see what I mean. Danger. I don't think we'll get attacked in this room, particularly. I don't think you have a choice. You have to camp over here. Inspired. Eh, Pony will suffer a little bit, but it's okay. I don't know why it shows the outside camping. I don't know, this game is not early access. Like I keep saying, it's it left early access, but it's still in early access. Which doesn't make sense, does it? Let's hear that again. Do not open this door! Do not let it out! No, we'll go after it. That's a big, dif a big difference. Do not come out, we'll go inside for it. A huge creature roaming in the dark. And the huge creature is just a creeper, right? Well, it's a huge creeper. It's. I like when they introduce new enemies and new challenges, but this is just beyond all words. Because the abilities they give this enemy, and because of where we're fighting this enemy, and because who their allies are, I mean, you started be more people to your party, but that's not going to help you. And you'll see why in a second, a minute. Here it is. Oh yeah, it's also... Mm, I have to reload the game. It's also going to have a random number, a random level, I mean. And it has 1300 when it's level 7, and when it's level 6 it has a lot of HP, so... Yikes. That's going to mean you'll have to reload a couple of times, or you have to be better prepared, or... I think the game should give you more choices, but currently the only choice in this game is... A lot of DPS, a lot of critical stat, and nothing else, or... Just having to grind a very slow game. Let's explore. Oh man, this is such a terrible design fight, especially because you're supposed to do this what in the end game? Sure, but that's going to be very hard to make. Okay, now it's level six. Doesn't help us much, to be honest. I mean, you don't make an enemy that can heal itself, that can drag you into melee combat, that can immobilize you, and then it can make you bleed and. Do a lot of damage, you just don't do all of those things. I guess this is fine. So sometimes this feel bugs out in this area, I don't know. This area is so buggy and so messy, I don't think. It's really done, but that's just a normal creeper. Oh, he's so brave, he just went to engage the creeper on his own. Look at this. So, heal or call more creepers, bleeding and damage in the area. Bleeding and damage in the area. It means you cannot even get close to this creeper, and as you can see, the difference between level 6 and level 7 is almost 500 HP. I don't get it. Why does he get 50% more HP at level 7? The developers think it's such a huge boost for him. It's such a huge boost for us. For us. And when you... Okay, so, he does this stupid thing. 
He will do Serrated Talents, deal damage and pull everyone into melee range and apply one immobilization, they can move for one round. Then he uses the Chaos Claw to make everyone bleed and deal a lot of damage and then he has the Cannibalism which means he is healed every time he does damage. He heals for more than he does them the damage. I mean he can heal for 50 points and he can deal 25 damage or something like that. And then he has this massive attack. He will attack everyone with an automatic attack if he is surrounded by 3 people. I think it's just not cool man. Not cool. Okay, let's see him in action. Man, <laughs> 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 he killed the Inquisitor. Not much I can do about that unless... Unless we get a chance to weaken his attacks. Just get so many of them. Look at this, he got this guy from such a long range and he mobilizes him and then he burns him, bleed, makes him bleed, and then he heals at the same time, which is an amazingly bad setup for a game like this. I guess we can reach galvanization a lot faster if we kill enough enemies. And we're close to doing that, but nope. Yes. I have lost the fight already, I have to restart the battle. And it's just a chess game, I've been doing this for one hour and I'm bored of this so much. It just doesn't work, nothing works against this enemy and if he spawns at level 7 it's impossible to defeat. A level 6, okay, you have a chance to defeat him. I almost defeated him, but he did the same thing he did right now. He had a lot of attacks in a row, and doing those attacks, he just pulls everyone into melee, makes them bleed. He might also make them burn because it's almost unavoidable that the bosses will that the boss will catch fire. I don't know, I don't know what's the best solution for this, I just have to farm more and come back later, probably that's the best solution, but it's not really going to be so fun. Okay, the creeper attacked the professor, the same as before. He goes straight for the misshapen creeper, I don't know. And the game is very buggy right now, I don't know why. But look at this. <laughs> it was in front of you. was in front of him and he didn't go for the attack. Hmm. I guess I can end around there, I'm already bleeding. Motivated, okay. He pulls everyone into melee range and does this attack. It's unbeatable, you don't have enough turns to do anything, you don't have enough turns to move out of the way, you don't have enough turns to make a solid strategy, you just don't have enough time and those attacks are super idiotic because they nerf everything you know about the game. 
they deny you the friendship, the support, the flanking, the surrounding, they deny you all of the game mechanics. So basically you have to play the game in such a different way that you you improvise from top to bottom, which I think it's a mistake, it's a big mistake. Why would you want to play like this first of all? Just let, let them wait like this. Ah. Oh, it will die from the bleeding, that's nice. We have to hit motivated status super super fast and have to hope these guys will find the creeper king before we do. Creeper King has right over here. But this is the same problem. Now I have nothing else I can do because he just kills my archer. <sighs> it's a pointless mess. You, you just have to fill him in the dark. You have to send your units to search for him in the darkness. You have to know where he will spawn. You have to make him come to you by blabbing up your units. I don't know. I just have no idea how to defeat this boss because it's nonsense. It's really, really nonsense. I've been playing this game for a lot, well, 300 hours and 2 or 3 years and I've never ever seen such a bad design like this. Okay, you have a very hard arena fight, I can agree with that. But why would you make something like this in a tomb? Who enjoys like something like this? It really makes me regret playing on this stupid difficulty and I think I might change the difficulty if I don't finish this in a few hours because it's too much tedious fights, it's too much trial and error, it's not skill, it's not progression, is not being prepared, it's just trial and error. That's what I hate about it. So apparently whatever you do, if you put Inquisitor Drox over here, he'll always rush towards the enemy and he'll always find the enemy. So watch this. <laughs> Uh, I think that should have counted. If you put him over here in this exact spot, he'll always rush to the Creeper King. And next you have to go with your Brute and nerf his damage. And you can do that by taunting. So his damage is very very reduced right now. And I think that will override. No, it's 50%. Well, it's more or less the same thing, I shouldn't uh, have used that then, okay. This is where it begins. If you fight him at level 7, the amount of HP he has, it's, it's unbearable. Also, he can disengage at will, which I can, I don't agree with the mechanic like that. This boss fight makes me cry, it makes me simply cry. You cannot control the AI, so the AI will hinder you in every possible way because they'll just pile up on the creature. I cannot get my damage to work on him because I cannot hit him enough. And the rats just tie up everyone in combat. And he'll be surrounded again, which is such a ah, it makes me crazy. Calm down. 
One, two, three. Oh, wow, I wished for one more attack. And why doesn't it give me my BP points if I use this? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. There are too many things I don't know. And everyone gets tied up by the little guys. Performance is very bad in this area. There's not much I can do about it. So now it's bleeding and it's burning and it has some poisons. <laughs> what? What hit? What did you hit over there? I couldn't see it. Now if I try to go with my brute, we'll get the surrounded bonus and again he we will get pushed away like idiots. So I guess I should just attack. Yeah, let's just attack. That will be a good chunk of damage, actually a super good chunk of damage. And also inflict more poison stacks and more motivation. Curiously enough, this guy does enough damage as the ranger or the archer at this point of the game. The Inquisitor cannot even kill a dirty little rat. One more shot. No, he'll just make us burn. Look, I think he summons more creepers when he does that. Yeah, whatever, I just want to play the game like I normally play. He got the surrounded to the buff. He pushes us away. Can I... Ah, let's look at his skill one more time before we end him. I guess you just need to stack a lot of debuffs on him, but again, this was his weakest variant if he has level 7 that will be uh, almost 500 more hp and his damage will be doubled you cannot even debuff him fast enough i don't know it's crazy how strong this can get run away i don't care i just wanted to kill the boss this boss it's it's going to give you nightmares by saint Giroux, you fight like a soldier scholar by Saint Giroux. You handle yourself just already. as well, Inquisitor. Oh no. The rest a strange object. The eye, indeed. We believe this is how the ancients depicted the god of light, based on writings that we managed to decipher. They already knew about the eye's reckoning. This relic could help us stop it. Wait, what? if this relic can be used to communicate with God, then it's a sacred art. Mercenaries, no! They can't be trusted. Leaving such an artifact in the hands of heathens would only worsen the wrath of the God of Light. Thank you, mercenaries. Whatever. Your decision probably saved Drombach. I promise to dedicate my life to understanding this artifact. Let's go. I will store the relic in a safe place, as far... <laughs> I don't have enough men left to fight you, but trust. Or you can just throw him in a pit over here and say the monsters ate him. I didn't even get a, chance, a good uh, look at the artifact and eh, whatever. So this is basically the boss fight for the artifact and blah blah blah. I don't think there is anything left for us here. I guess you have to turn back after that sequence of events. The others have already left. We will. Well, at least they programmed another voice line. They program another voice line for that. Okay, so I guess the only way to destroy that guy is to have either a swordsman build like I had, like I have. Because you'll get burning. I just we just need to get 
bleeding on him and then the swordsman can kill him with this special sword. It is again overpower, but then what can we do? It's super hard to get him to, to be attacked by a ranger just because he most of the times will be surrounded by two or three enemies or AI or us. <sighs> Weird and annoying fight. Okay, let's go up. And we still have one more fight to do in here. One or two more fights in the with the creepers. Interesting, so this is the second world we learn. Death. I like this one. Huh, too bad you cannot see this very clear. The murals. I'm afraid to activate any levers. Why does the game make it so annoying? <laughs> The whole tomb is shaking, why? What have we done? Also, we need to open that thing with a very strong character to open that, this passageway. And so we did. Oh, and this loops... This is a loop, it loops back over here. So this is what I found. The scholar, the general codex level number two. And over here I had the Solvinius the Great solve this puzzle and you got another word, I forgot what the word was. And you also had some spears over there in a chair yet you can interact with to get some extra loot. I'm too bad we can put the statue back together. Okay, let's save again. So, I... Wait, did you see that? Hmm. I'm going to show you what I found those things that I used to... Okay, so this is one, the round one. And over here. Ah, not over here, okay. Okay, over here is the other symbol. I'm just missing one symbol and I'm not sure where to find it. Sure, what that liver did either. I don't think it changed anything here. So sorry about this. I'm just searching for the last symbol right now. And we're very low on torches again. <laughs> We can probably go almost to the exit. This skeleton had another codex, the number one. <laughs> I guess this is just an item that you can sell for 75 gold <laughs> or less. And let's go up the stairs now. Sorry about the lag, the game begin when I'm playing in drone back, uh, it uses a lot of RAM or CPU and it starts to have a memory leak after playing for one hour or so. Huh. 
its first call was vandalized. I, mean, I was expecting graffiti, but that's a modern thing. So I guess it was just erased, more or less. By vandalized, I mean destroyed or modified too much. But I already pulled the lever, I don't get it. We pulled this lever. Is it another bug? It probably is another bug. Quite annoying, I have to say. So what is the last symbol? Because I'm running out of torches. Oh man, the developers designed the most awkward mechanics ever and then they said it will be okay. This is not okay. This is not okay. But I extended the bridge. Do I need to press another thing? Or... I have no idea, sorry about blowing in the microphone. Breathing in the microphone. So, I have to go over there first and then I have to press the lever. Maybe that will change something, even though I'm not sure. <laughs> you also don't get anything special out of the creeper fight, we just finished the story. Okay, so this is before I defeated the creeper, which I am not going to defeat again. This fight is pure RNG, pure lag based. In the name of what was you wouldn't understand. Hmm. And by the way, there are no, there is no way to get more torches. I played for uh, almost one hour again to just get torches for this mission. You have to kill the creepers. You have to find grease or kill animals. You have to. I don't know. It's just tedious work. And for what? For this. Okay, so this was before we pulled the lever, so let's see how it looks before we pull the lever. Sorry about the very long loading times. <laughs> we had so many torches, so much light, and we just destroyed it, it vanished. That's not the end. Yeah, but I don't understand. I searched everywhere for other stuff, but I didn't find any more levers. I didn't find the last tomb uh, combination. I guess I'll play for about five more minutes. If I don't figure it out, I'll have to leave it for the next video. I was really not expecting so many obstacles. In the form of puzzles, RNG fights like that, puzzle fights, and just not finding the right stuff. And I don't have any arrows. I don't have anywhere else to go. I guess I, I just have to go outside and guess the last symbol. Or it could be somewhere here. But 
is not. We searched everywhere, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm just not seeing it, maybe you can see it better than me. I guess we haven't explored this room, more or less, but it's just a loop around. It just loops around to the other side of the map, which we have explored already. We just haven't explored that particular pathway. I don't think there can be two symbols in a single room, so that's why I'm not searching too much. I guess the final codex will be in that room over there, if you can figure out how to extend the bridge fully. I guess the game makes you come over here for whatever reason, just to see the bridge. Probably, I guess that's a valid, a valid claim as well. <laughs> Sorry for so many black screens, it's like we're watching a, a movie trailer. The screen goes from white, to, from uh, light to black. Sometimes the symbol can be a lot smaller and in other places than you'd expect. From what I understand, we need... Huh? Oh, you can select only half of it. Maybe... I... I think we just need to find one more lever, but where? It's not inside, that's for sure. Okay, I have no choice, I just have to guess the last one. <laughs> With my deducing powers, we have opened the door. Surprise! So, someone is leading all of these soldiers. Uh, okay, sorry about this again. I don't really like to scum save in this game, but I have no choice. This is new territory for me as well, and judging by that. Are different. How are they different? Yeah, some of them have armor. Some of them have a missing leg. I mean, this is the first time where you open a door and that tomb doesn't end. Well, where is Solvius when I need him? I need some extra torches for Solvius. From Solvius. Yeah, okay, let's fight this creeper fight. It's not hard. The fight is not hard. The puzzles are not hard. It's just the weird mechanics and the development of this tomb. That makes you scratch your head and go, oh, uh huh? This is how it goes? Yeah, that's right.
Game is very unstable to be honest. Aha! There they are, the dirty rats. I guess we can just kill the rat. Oh, it's a big one. Brace for impact. Ah, that was a mistake. I don't want to get it. I don't want to get into a fight outside of the circle or outside of the attack range of the archer. Ah, can I move the wrong character? It's okay. It's kind of overpowered that you can apply the poison and then, and then attack again. Fine, you cannot see the dirty rat. Okay, there they are. Everyone is here. It works, if it works, it works. Out of early access. Complete features, complete game. <laughs> Hit everyone, just hit everyone, you'll be okay. Yeah, I, I need to restart my computer now. Such a shame. I've discovered another, another rune war. Well, this is clear, clearly war. Doesn't look like anything else. Extra morale. I think morale is just uh, what you used to get to galvanize quicker. Oh, pot. That's an interesting item. I never saw it before, but I... Doesn't contain 100 fire charges. Okay, but what's the deal with the statues? General may hit. Well, that will make his... Yeah, let's, let's not do any more jokes like that. We have done enough today. <laughs> oh.
I don't want to say that I'm lost, but I thought we have to... Oh no, we have to go even deeper. And there you have to go over here, and then you have to go there, and then you can go to the place. And now I think I have to reload just because there's too many torches. If you go without torches, I think we'll get attacked by creepers almost all the time. Oh, I guess this is the whole tomb then. I hope we get a codex over here so I never have to come in this tomb again. Oh yes, we have the codex, yes! Treasure of the Ancients and the codex. Achievement Alok, Destroyer of Worlds. So that's it, that's the complete tomb and that's how you're supposed to do it. Unbelievable! I just have no words for this tomb. No good words, no bad words. I guess we did learn a lot of new words. With two torch charges left, we, <laughs> we have made it to safety, the outside world. I'm not sure who to join in this world. All, all of this is nonsense. The story doesn't make sense. The characters don't make sense. They, you don't get a lot of story elements anyway. So we have to go over here and do that mission. And that probably will be the end of the story of the fate of Drombach. Sorry about this. I have no way of fixing this unless I restart my computer. You can give the game a negative review, yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> I mean, it's because I'm recording as well, but still, come on! It's not fun anymore. That will be in four days. Okay, let's go and look at the codex management. You're supposed to know the runes already, so death is definitely going to be in here. Oh, this one is harder to solve. I guess you cannot use simple logic. Okay, so the umbrella, the warrior, and the death. The warrior umbrella. So, it's Umbrella, and the Anchor, and probably that's the final one, no? We deciphered it. Yeah, I, I'll just do this right now so I don't have to do it later. That one was much easier. Okay, so what do we have over here? We have... it's a logical game.
Okay, so this is definitely one of the symbols. And this one. So we need more walls to decide for these ones. Okay, that's the whole tomb, that's the whole deciphering, that's the whole deal. Sorry I got so angry, it's just that I don't understand how... How can you make such a great game with such great mechanics and then simply not know how to update it? You just have to do the same thing you have been doing until this point. Don't get so fancy with fights like that where you... It's a puzzle fight. I don't think the developers understand that they are creating puzzle fights that are no, not going to be fun. And optimization should have been done already. Ah, anyway, see you next time. Bye bye.